Hello and welcome to my new tutorial which will be for this beautiful merino beanie hat uh, in a hipster style. It's made with a double brim so it's extra warm around the ears and it's really nice and cozy to wear during the winter time. So for this hat I used a local brand of merino wool which was quite thin so what I did was use two strands together and it was a 50 gram ball and I used four of them or you could choose a larger 100 gram ball with a thicker yarn. Then you're going to need a 5 millimeter circular needles, some markers and tapestry needle. You can also use these double-sided needles uh, to close the hat at the end uh, once it gets uh, smaller, the circle at the top, so it's easier to close. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to take my two strands of yarn and I will be casting on with the long end, so leave at least one and a half meters uh, to cast on and for casting on we're going to make the first loop so we put the yarn around under and pull through then into the loop we created insert your needle and tighten uh, this loop Make sure the long tail is towards you and will be going around the thumb and you can catch it with your ring finger and your pinky finger and then the yarn going towards the two balls will be uh, going around your index finger and then you go under the yarn on your thumb, around the yarn on your index finger and back through the loop on your thumb. Then you let go and tighten. So one more time, under on the thumb, around the index finger, back through the loop, and tighten. And this way you're going to cast on a total of 87 stitches around, and at the end of the round I will show you how to close into a circle. Okay, so here we have our 87 stitches and make sure they're not twisted anywhere before you close them into a circle, that they're all in one direction. And to close the circle what you're going to do is simply slip the stitch that you have at the beginning, pull it over to your right needle and then take the stitch behind that, pull it over the stitch you just slipped and let go and tighten. So this means you reduced one stitch that you had, so instead of 87, you now have 86 stitches around. Again, make sure it's not twisted anywhere. And now we're going to start with our pattern. Uh, before you get started, it's good to place a marker so that you know where the beginning is, or you can recognize it by the long tail. So the pattern is simple, we're going to alternate between stitch and curl. So first you insert the needle from the front, yarn around, and pull through towards the front. Then you put your yarn in front, insert the needle from the side, and pull towards the back. So this is a purl stitch. And you're just going to alternate these two all the way around. So knit and purl. This is going to allow the hat to be stretchy and sit nicely on the head. Uh, it's also a size that I think will uh, fit the majority of adults. 
because it can stretch to whatever we need. So continue this until you get back to the green marker. And here we are at the end of the row. I'll just finish the very last two stitches. So again, a knit and the last purl. Then you place the marker from your left needle to the right. And we're going to continue with the second round, which is going to be exactly the same. You always start with, a, um, with, sorry, with a knit and then continue with the purl. So again, you will be alternating all the way around. And this way you're going to continue until you have 42 rows. So now we're working on the second row and then 40 more after that. So once we have the 42 rows finished, I will show you how to close the brim. Okay, and here we have our finished 42 rows. As you can see, it's always the knits in one line, pearls in the other. And I'm just going to finish the last two stitches I have here, so again, a knit and a pearl. Now what you're going to do is take the beginning and fold it inwards. And where you have the long tail, your beginning, you're going to line it up where you just finished knitting. And what we're going to do is knit this end together with the next row. Uh, you're going to be inserting your needle into the very first row you knit. If it's hard to recognize, you can stretch it a bit and there should always be one stitch above a purl and one stitch above a knit. So you're going to take your needle Now you find your very first stitch and insert it into that stitch. Now you can see the stitches at the top here. So you insert that onto the needle you're working with. And you're going to follow the pattern as it is. So if you remember, we always started with a knit. So again, we're going to knit here, but we're going to knit through uh, two loops. So the one you would normally knit through plus the one you just added there from the first row. So you're knitting two together. And then you're going to take your needle again and insert it into the next stitch. Next one we're going to be doing is a purl. So this time you're going to purl two together. And you're going to continue all the way around like this. Always put on one of the stitches from the very first row and then knit or purl the two stitches on the left needle together. It does take a little bit of time, but you have to be patient. It makes the brim really nice uh, and it doesn't curl up or anything, so it's worth it, but it does take some patience. And you can add the marker back to the beginning as well, but you will also be able to recognize the beginning because that's the point where the stitches will be joined. Here the first stitches are already connected and 
we're just going to continue around until we get back to the green marker. Don't forget to alternate your knits and curls as you see them. And here's the finished brim. As you can see, both sides are connected together. And from this point, we're going to just continue in the pattern we were doing before. So I put my marker at the beginning, and again, I'm going to just alternate knit and purl stitches. And I'm going to do this for another 22 rows. So you can either count 22 rows from the brim, or if you're counting from the very beginning, then it will be up to the row 66. I will see you once you have the 22 rows finished, and then we'll explain how to close the hat and make the decrease rows. So here I've finished the next 22 rows, and now that we have the brim, the middle part, we're going to make the top uh, by decreasing. Uh, it's going to be about this long, and so at the beginning we're still going to continue in the pattern. So you can put the marker at the beginning of the next row again. And for the decreases you will need two more markers that you will place uh, within the rows. So first you're going to uh, continue in pattern for the next 30 stitches. your 30 stitches from the beginning, uh, you're going to make a decrease. So for this decrease, you're going to slip one stitch knit-wise. So you're going to insert the needle as if you're going to knit, but just slip it to your right needle. Then for the next two stitches, you're going to knit them together. So knit two together. And then take the stitch that you slipped before and pull it over the first stitch there and let it go. This means that altogether you decreased three into one stitch. And now place your first marker. I'm going to continue another 21 stitches following the pattern. So right after the marker we're doing a purl stitch and then again altering knit and purl. Once you have those 21 stitches you can place the second marker and we're going to decrease after the marker this time. I've placed my second marker and now I'm simply going to knit three stitches together. So you insert your needle all through three stitches. a challenge to pull through all three of them, so make sure you pull your yarn properly and then knit them together. So again you reduced three into one. And from now on just finish the row following the pattern to the green mark at the beginning. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the first row that we decreased. So we did 30 stitches, then three before the marker, we decreased into one, then did 21 to the second marker, knit three into one and finished to the green one. For the next row, all you're going to do is follow the pattern without decreases and you will be altering these two types of rows. So one row will be decrease row and the next one will be a normal row. Always in the decrease rows, when you get to the three before the marker, you slip one, knit two together and pull that one over and let go. So you make three into one. Then you follow the pattern to the second marker and after the second marker, you're simply going to knit three together into one. And then just finish the row to your green marker following the pattern. So this way we did row one with decreases, row two is going to be normal, row three with decreases, four normal, five with decreases, six normal. All the way to row 7, where 7 and 8 are both going to be decrease rows. Okay, so here is the hat when I've finished the 8 rows with decreases. And as you can see where the markers are, where we did the decreases, it made these lines. And now we're just going to finish up the very top and close the hat. So I'm going to switch to my four uh, double-sided needles uh, because it would be hard to uh, do it with the circular needles but if you have a very stretchy ones and short ones you can just leave those on. With my double-sided needle I'm going to uh, knit and purl uh, as the pattern is, so as the stitches are uh, or as they appear and I will knit and purl until I reach three stitches before the next marker. And here I decided I have about a quarter of the stitches on my first needle, so I'm taking the second needle and continuing with that one. So now I have my three stitches before the marker and what I'm going to do is the same as usual. So I'm going to slip stitch one, knit two together, and then pull the slip stitch over the knit two together. I'm going to move the marker and now for the stitches between the two markers, between the one that I just moved and the next one, I'm going to knit two together for all of these stitches until I reach the three before the marker again.
halfway through I decided to add the third needle again because I have about a quarter of the stitches on the second one already. And now we have three stitches before the next marker. So what I'm going to do with these is slip stitch two knitwise. So I insert my needle as if I was going to knit and slip stitch two of the stitches. Then the next one I knit normally and I pull over the two that I slip stitched before. So again I'm reducing three and two. One, but this time a little bit differently. Then I move my marker and behind the marker I'm going to slip stitch one and knit two together and then again pull the one slip stitch over the two knit together. And for the rest of the row, I'm just going to continue knitting uh, or purling the stitches as they show in the pattern. So alternating knit and purl. And this is the last stitch of the row, so after finishing it and transferring all of the stitches onto my double-sided needles, I can take away the circular needles, and then we're going to continue with another row of decreases. So we're going to place the marker again for the beginning of the next row, and in the next row what we're going to do is knit all of the stitches two together. So it means we're going to reduce their number to half and just knit two together all the way around back to the green marker at the beginning. And as you go around, you can remove the other two markers because we're not going to need them anymore. And here I'm just transferring some of the stitches so it's easier to knit them because there's a lot of them on one of the double-sided needles. So to the fourth one, to the fourth needle, I'm transferring these stitches which I will then continue to knit uh, two together.
here we are back at the beginning of the row and now uh, one more row left we're going to do the exact same thing so we're going to knit two together around and you should have a total of 12 stitches left when you're finished Here I have my 12 stitches and now what I'm going to do is leave a longer end, uh, cut the yarn and insert it into my tapestry needle and collect the stitches onto the tapestry needle. So just go through each of the stitches around with the needle, um, be careful so that you don't drop any of the stitches. And gradually remove um, the needles and transfer the stitches onto the yarn. Once the stitches are all transferred, you just pull the top of the hat closed. And now it depends on which side you want to use as the outer side of the hat. This is the one that we knit as the outer side. And I actually like the inner side a little bit more because you can see the two seams at the top a little more and also the seam around. So I'm going to use this as my outside, but if you prefer the other side, it works either way, it's up to you. So because this is going to be my outside, I'm just going to flip it and finish off the work so that the arm stays inside and that the knot, uh, the final knot, is also on the inside. So I just go around with the needle, make a knot and then cut the yarn. Okay, and now you can just finish off any ends if you have some, like I do when I was connecting the yarn here. And other than that, the hat is finished. So here are the seams from the top, the brim, and the closing. Uh, you can add some label to the front or something, or just leave it as it is. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or would like to see some other videos, uh, leave a comment below. And you can also like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.